this is Malorian, and what we're going to be doing now is a little bit of a unit comparison. So, this is kind of like before when I was talking about Beastmen, and I was talking about Minotaurs, and uh, Razagors, and how I thought that actually the Razagors were a lot better than Minotaurs, but for some reason, uh, people just love Minotaurs, and even though the, the fact that when you really look at it, the, the Razagors were better, and it really just came down to like pretty much just the models. Well, this time, we're going to be looking at Iron Guts and Yetis. Now, when I went to my last tournament, I saw a lot of Ogre players, obviously, you know, the book just came out, and they all had Iron Guts. And the reason why you have Iron Guts is, is pretty clear. You have your regular Ogres, which are your, you know, your bread and butter, but if you need something that has a little bit more punch, you got to go up to your Elites, and that's when you go to the, the Iron Guts. I know you could go all the way up to Man Eaters, but then you're looking at really expensive models. So you got your Iron Guts, you know, great guys, your Strength 6 will smash things. However, it came very apparent whenever I was playing them is that whenever I was up against any Iron Guts, they never got to swing because they just have to strike last and my guys would just slaughter them before they even got to go. I mean, obviously, if they were at a larger horde of 18 or 24, that wouldn't happen, but uh, we're talking to some pretty big points here. And so when you're looking at it, you got to think, well, why aren't people going with Yetis? Yetis are only one point more than an Iron Gut. So, you know, it's really not a big deal. Cost doesn't really matter. All right? Over in a complete horde, we're talking 18 more points. Now, when you're looking at the, the armor-wise, one, the Iron Gut has a 5-plus armor, and then for the Yeti, you have the Aura, where you're minus one to hit kind of a lot, lot, lot like the Stone Trolls and the River Trolls. And everybody knows from doing the math that the River Trolls are the better way to go. I mean, unless you're seeing a lot, let's say you're going up against a lot of Wood Elves, right, where it's a lot of little Strength 3 shooting, then okay, then you want to go with the 5-plus armor. But typically, when it comes to combat, you're better off with a minus 1 to hit. So, again, the Yetis win. Now, one thing that the Iron Guts do have going for them is that they uh, can get a bull charge. You know, they're actually ogres, whereas yetis are not, so they actually get impact hits. But something you have to balance with that is the fact that the yetis are faster, movement 7, and they also have the swift stride. So you're actually more likely to actually get the charge in the first place with the yetis. So that's almost kind of a wash. Now... The big part where this comes down to is the attacks. The Iron Guts are going to have three strength six attacks, but they're going last. As opposed to the Yetis that have three strength five attacks, and those are going to be going at initiative four. Fairly fast than when you see the different values out there for initiative. So pretty much usually they're going first or at the same time, unless you're against High Elves or something like that. And they're going to be doing all that damage. And uh, depending on what your uh, meta is, it could very easily be that the strength 6 or the 5 doesn't even matter, right? Because a lot of things out there are toughness 3, a lot of times the best army you see is a 5+, plus, so it really doesn't really matter. And even when it, it does matter, let's say if you're going against, you know, uh, something that's strength or toughness 4 and all this stuff, well, you still have the advantage with the Yeti because they're going to have more attacks with this as well. Because with the Iron Guts getting smashed, you can lose a full rank of Iron Guts before you even get to see combat. And meanwhile, you're getting all these attacks with the Yetis. So that's a big thing you have to be keeping in mind. Now, I've heard a few other arguments as well that, well, the, the Iron Guts can get a banner. Well, okay, that's true. But uh, in a lot of cases, that's not going to be that big of a deal. You should have enough for Blood and Glory. You know, you're going to have your General. You're going to have your your BSB. You're always going to have your big uh, horde of regular Ogres anyway. And so you're really already covered for banners. And if we're talking about the Magical Banners, there's not really all those great Magical Banners to give them in the first place. I mean, you could be giving them the Leadership Banner if you're having your General in there. Or you could be putting in the, the Flaming Banner. But, you know... If you're a person with a, an army or a unit that's regeneration and you're up against ogres, you know where that flaming banner is because there's only one spot. And you usually have more units than the ogre player, so you can out-deploy them, and it's usually not a factor. So that's a small thing going for them. Uh, another one I heard was that Iron Guts are core. Okay, 
Well, that's not a big deal because once you throw in your horde of regular ogres, you've already met your 25% requirements anyway. So that's not such a big deal. I think the, the biggest reason why people don't go with the yetis instead of the iron guts and don't even conceive the thought of them is the fact that they're ugly models. You know, they're, they're pewter, they're, oh, maybe they're fine cast now, I don't know. But, you know, people just don't like the look of them. Or as opposed to the, the iron guts... They're bulls covered with more armor, and they got huge, great weapons. You know, they look awesome. And so I think, just like with the Minotaurs and the Razagors, that's really all people see. You know, when I talk to people, it should be at least a close comparison, right? Where, you know, when people talk about Stone Trolls and River Trolls, you know, there's nobody out there for that's an Orc player that took River Trolls that didn't really have that thought of, oh, should I got to go with Stone Trolls? And then he did a little bit of math, and okay, we'll go with River. But... You know, it just seems that out there, whenever you talk to an ogre player, it's just, yeah, iron guts. Yeah, these suck. Iron guts. They're, they're the way to go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these, they're, they're horrible. I don't even look at them. I cut that page out of the book. You know, it's just... And when you look at it, they're either, you know, the same or the yetis are better. So there you have it. Uh, I hope if your ogre player's out there, just give it a try. You know, even just proxy it. In one game, take your, your iron guts and just proxy them as yetis and see how it goes. Um... It should be a lot of fun and hopefully an eye-opener. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.